I was not allowed to fly because we didn't want to lose a man who, um, if, if I were got, if they caught me, they would uh, try to get it out of me, everything I knew. So they wouldn't let me fly because of that. Well, I, um, I was out there all the time and I thought, how can, how can I say I worked on these uh, planes and not fly? I worked in a special deal with one of the radio men and I uh, traded places with him. Uh, he, he didn't take my place, but I went up and made a, a trip with him on a flight to Guam. And I dropped two 500-pound bombs over um, Guam, over one of the water supplies, trying to uh, break up their water, fresh water deal. And I could see all the um, planes and, and the ships down below and all the uh, fighting and the ships uh, shooting and everything. It was quite a sight to be able to fly over and see. And then when we come back, there was that little dot on the on the ocean. I was supposed to land on that. That was our ship. And of course we we had cables on the ship that caught the uh, landing hook mm -hmm. and uh, it uh, helped to stop the, car, uh, the airplane. My work work with um, this hush hush radar I kind of, uh, I, no one knew what I was doing. My folks uh, asked me when I come back, said, we got a lot of letters from you, but said, well, you can't, it's so full of holes. I can't, um, <laughs> we can't, don't know where, where you were, what you did or anything. Actually, I went back uh, three more times and re-enlisted. Re so I put in for, uh, four, uh, four uh, Enlistment uh, during my USS, USNR uh, deal, and I enjoyed being in the Navy. Uh, I'm a Christian, and I uh, believe in uh, the Lord Jesus Christ uh, as my Savior, and I know that He was taking care of me. So I, I just uh, knew the prayers were behind me, and I appreciate everyone who was praying on everything because it was actually the. The Lord has uh, kept me through the whole thing.